got some pants. I know this was the greatest intro you've ever seen in your entire life, but um, I have these green pants and I bought them two years ago at a secondhand shop, I think. And then at some point I just stopped wearing them. I don't know why. I, I mean, I like them. They're green. Green is my favorite color. In case you haven't noticed. I don't know. I'm Sometimes I'm just strange, I guess. So I stopped wearing them. So I thought that today I could make these pants a little more interesting for me again. And also the um, birds outside have decided that spring is upon us. Spring has arrived. So I thought it's time for a nice spring flower great uh project yes i want to i want to embroider them that's that's what i want to do i know i already did a, a, an embroidery video quite recently but um i'm actually working on another video right now and it's taking way longer than i expected it will take me so um, i need a kind of a filler video and i also just want some flowers on my pets so um that's the plan for today <laughs> I swear to God, every time I turn on this camera, my three brain cells that I have immediately leave. Leave and then also never return. I need to change out of, of, of these because um, I won't embroider them while I'm wearing them. I am not that insane, even though you guys probably wouldn't be that surprised if I did this, to be honest. But um, no, I have some fraction of common sense left, so... um. Mandatory bird singing. Okay, he's kind of holding himself back. Nope, there it is. I feel like my intros are getting progressively worse. So in case you didn't want to listen to a word I just said, which I don't blame you, um, I have these pants and I want to embroider some flowers onto them today. Very nice. And I also don't have a plan, but when do I ever? So, okay, embroidery supplies are over there. Pants are right here, and now. <laughs> Let's begin. <laughs> My totally, completely, perfectly organized embroidery floss. There may be some needles in here. <laughs> I don't know. I am also once again doing this right next to my bed so that I will possibly get stabbed at night. I have some pens that you can wash off, but this green is very dark and I'm not sure if you can see this on on here. So I'm not entirely sure how to get the, my design that I haven't thought of yet. Onto these pens. I do have water soluble canvas, but I also think that I can use an embroidery hoop on here, I think. And I kind of just don't want to use water soluble canvas because then I would have to stitch it on here and uh, this is too much work. So I would like to use just some pen pens. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we will try. Maybe if I use a very bright orange. I found found a bright orange pencil. Um, moment of truth. Let's try it right here. You can see it kind of, not you on camera. I can. I think it would help if I had better eyes, but I don't. Because the video that I'm also working on next to this is taking so much longer than I expected. I was thinking, hey, um, what could be a quick video that I can like this week and then I thought of this and then I just turn on the camera and without a plan and I don't think I should do that ever again but I am going to because I am me. Anyways, let's let's draw some flowers onto my pants. I'm thinking that I want a few flowers right here where the pockets are at the front. Let's draw some flowers onto that. I mean, I'm not going to use an embroidery hoop because I don't think it's going to fit on there and I th don't think that's a good idea but I'm going to do it anyway. The motto of my life, no one can stop me. So I'm just going to do the worst possible choices over and over again. Let's go. Okay, I sketched a little design onto the first pocket now and if it looks a bit chaotic, that is because it absolutely is chaotic. I'm just going to start embroidering and then I'm going to see where this will take me. So with this, I now hereby welcome you to episode 1047 of this probably isn't a good idea, but this idiot is going to do it anyways. So I, uh, where's my needle? I lost my needle. <laughs> oh, nope. I put it in here. There it is. I'm going to start with some green. Some of these flowers are supposed to be sunflowers. So I'm going to start with those. Nice. Very good. Wow. I'm very good at this YouTube thing. I know.
Okay, even though I have one of these needle pedal things, I decided to store my needle like this. I just stab my mattress and put it into my bed. Why? Someone, someone tell me why. Ain't nothing but a... Look at this, a green line. Yeah, nice. Okay, it doesn't look green on camera, but it is green. And it kind of worked surprisingly well without an embroidery hoop. I guess this like jeans fabric is just really sturdy enough for this. So now I'm going to turn this green line into an actual flower. And if that works, then that's very nice. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Let's see if I can get this uh, into a nice looking flower. I made a little sunflower, oh my god. It's so cute. I changed the green to a darker one because I thought that it was just too bright in general with the other green. Now you can't really like see this because it's kind of the same value as the, the pants, but um, it's fine because I want to add some brighter stuff around the sunflowers and I think then it's just going to be too bright in general, yes. But it kind of once again worked out way better than I expected it would. It's actually looking good and um, that's nice. It's kind of when I parallel park and have passengers in the car with me. I always tell them that I can parallel park even though I actually kind of can, but it's to like lower the expectations. It's also again taking way longer than I thought it would. I always kind of underestimate embroidery. I, I don't know, I just thought like yeah sure I'm just going to quickly embroider a few flowers under my my pants. How long could it take? Um, This took me, I don't know, an hour maybe? <laughs> Let's make some more flowers Ooh, i need some more yellow this is it's already like look chaos why and now i don't know which which yellow i used how was your week friends or your last week depending on when i managed to upload this mine was okay one of my horses is having a few problems again a few health problems again which isn't fun it's not that serious but like he's had all kinds of different problems over the past few months so if there are any witches amongst my viewers please um make him a health spell or something like that <laughs> but other than that i had a great workshop with my other horse um i had a staring contest with a rat that was very nice what else happened I, I found a bug in my room that i thought was dead but it wasn't i woke up one morning and then there was a bug at my window and then it took off and vanished behind my desk and i tried to find it but i couldn't so then at some point i kind of thought it died back there but then one day it emerged again alive and well so i took him outside to freedom. Did something else happen to me? I don't think so. The red definitely was a highlight. We were we were staring at each other and he was uh, sharing all the knowledge of the universe with me. And then he took off and ran away. And I never saw him again. That's not true. I did see him again, actually. His name is Joffrey, by the way. <laughs> very, very interesting information I'm giving you right here, right? I'm sure you are all immensely entertained. Oh no, I did I did do something else. I planted some, some vegetables. I planted some tomatoes and some... What's it called? Some peppers. Yes, I planted, I planted some peppers. They are my children and um, I just realized that I shouldn't be talking while doing this because this is turning out to be very ugly. What happened to the sunflower? Okay, I'm really not made for doing two tasks at the same time. Even if one of the tasks is just talking about the little staring contest I had with the red. I still managed to mess up the flower that I was trying to make and I also just stabbed myself. I'm going to go back to concentrating on embroidery again. Maybe then I will also not stab myself as much as if that's true. Okay, I did a three sunflowers on the, this side now. And oh my god, it's already looking so cute. I kind of, ex I did expect it to look cute, but ah, I love it. I just did like the lower petals um, with a lazy daisy stitch and then a bunch of French knots in, in the middle. And I also changed the, the green again because the other one 
was too similar to the color of the pants but now now i like it so next up i think i'm going to do a few little daisies and then some more plants <laughs> don't know what kind of plants but more plants yes let's do it Right, the, the first side is ready, I think, and I decided that I actually don't want to embroider this pocket because there's a small pocket and the big pocket, and I kind of feel like this is, because of that, already working quite well with only one embroidered side. I would have really liked to have added a, a B or two, you know, um, everything's better with one or two Bs, but I couldn't find my, my black embroidery floss. I don't know where it is. <laughs> so I guess no bees today. But speaking of bees, I've mentioned another video that I'm working on multiple times uh, already. So I kind of want to give you a quick sneak peek. I'm not telling you what, what it's about, but I have to paint a lot. So there might be another video between this and this, depending on how fast I can finish this. That's also why today is kind of just a small project, because I, I didn't want to upload for like four weeks. So we did this today and I think it's really cute. I already am very excited to wear these pants again, which I haven't been in like weeks, months. So that's very nice. If, if a piece of clothing is getting boring to you just slap some flowers onto there that's all it needs sometimes okay enough talking time for the reveal Okay, that's it for this week's video. As I just said, it was a really small and quick project because I kind of needed a filler video. But I, I hope you still had fun and maybe I could inspire you to embroider your clothes, give your clothes a second chance because sometimes it's really worth it. I love this obligatory bird singing part two. But yeah, it's, it's kind of just like some really small details, but I think it... It really kind of makes the whole pants, the whole thing more interesting and more fun. And I love it. And I'm now going to wear this together with my sunflower crochet cardigan. And then I'm going, I'm going to become spring. I am the season of spring now. Yes. Hope you had fun. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe for more chaotic arts and crafts videos. Um, and I will see you again next time. Goodbye. Uh -huh.